What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we're gonna be looking at another device that I just got in. This is it. It's called Sidetrack. It's gonna give you an extra monitor when you're using your device just like that. So let's talk more about this. So when you open the box, you get the actual device itself. The sidetrack screen sports a 12 inch display. You get some instructions of how to apply it. You get an instruction on how to actually download the software. You get more random paperwork that most people just put back in the box. And you get your USB to USB type C cable. Now this comes with USB to USB adapter as well as USB to USB A. You actually get some backup metallic stickers or metal pieces with 3M stickies on the back, just in case you have to relocate this screen. That's pretty much it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do before you actually get any of this set up is you want to first go and download the software. So there's software that's actually available for the Windows model uh, PC, also with the Mac, as well as Chromebook. So you can download any of those that you would like, whichever one's gonna be best for you and your device. And once you get all that downloaded, you're gonna wanna pay specific uh, attention to your instructions. You're gonna have this piece of paper and it's gonna give you step-by-step -step exactly what to do. So peel off your stickers on the back, center it on the back of the laptop, and then you're gonna press down on each one of those yellow boxes for about 30 seconds, just to ensure that you get maximum stickiness. You're never gonna press in that middle portion. So when you get the final setup ready, this is what you are going to get. You're gonna get your main screen over here and you're gonna get a side screen over here. Now I'm gonna fold this down just to show you. This is how I ran mine through the back, just like that. It's gonna slide off. Now, once you slide, let me show you. You slide one time just like that, and it's gonna come out. Then you're gonna have another set of hinges right there that you can slide out and extend even further. I wouldn't do that. I would pull this back in, make sure that locks back in place, and then pull the screen out itself. So like I said, this is a 12 inch display. Now, so to actually get this thing going and set up, it may be a little tricky at first, you gotta get the hang of it, but you're just gonna come all the way out and then you can pull this back in. And then there are gonna be two little hinges up here. You're just gonna make sure that they snap and click for the best performance. Snap all the way out, it clicks, pull it out just a little bit. And once you actually open this up, you're good. You got your nice hinging motion, very smooth. It's locked in place and you can pull it out a little bit further, but I wouldn't because you don't wanna stretch your cord too much, but just put it back in. As long as it's clearing the actual screen, you can fold it in as far as you need to and let it back out to straighten it up. But that's gonna be a great alternative for working at home, especially during the time that we're going through. So once you actually get it locked into place, it's very stable, it's stationary, it doesn't wobble, no, hinge, no issues with that. It's a nice smooth hinge. And then when you get finished with it, you just drop it back down, slide it back in, and you're good to go. And then when you're using your second screen, basically it's simple as take your mouse over, go down, and you notice my dock popped up over here and anything that I need, now I can use it over here at my leisure. I wanna go to YouTube, I can go to YouTube. Once I'm there, everything should work with no problems. So there are no speakers over here, it's gonna just play and speakers are still over here. So let's say you come over here and then you wanna be a little productive. You open up Chrome, you won't be able to open up Safari over here because Safari is playing over here. But let's say you open up Chrome and you go to another, open up YouTube again, and you can basically multitask and do whatever you need to do uh, right here. So productivity, entertainment, everything you need right at the touch of your hands, just slide the screen out and you're good to go. So it's a nice concept. They're just a, a small amount of flaws. I'm gonna run that cable around the back just so it's not cluttering out up front. They actually have a case for this because this piece is detachable. So let me show you how that works. You slide everything back in and then it magnetically attaches 
and lifts off and you can take this wherever you go. So I have this on the back of a case, not directly on the back of my MacBook Pro 16 inch. And I recommend a computer that's at least 15 to 16 inches just because this thing itself is probably around 13 inches on its own and it'll just stick out on a 13 inch or less computer. It is a little heavy on the back as well. So if your Mac is not standing straight up, if it leans a little bit further back, it's gonna hold it down and pull it back. So you gotta make sure that that computer is standing up. And I'm not sure with time, that may put some strain on your Mac on the hinges and you may have some issues. I will be testing. I'll come back in just maybe another video just to let you guys know how it's going using this, but hopefully it can make me more productive. I'll be able to do simultaneous things. And this is basically aimed at the business professional. So if you got a business and you're doing work all the time on the go, it'll be great to have two screens, one for media, one for um, whatever you want to do. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. I'll be sure and drop a link below so you can check this out for yourself. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.